and welcome to my channel. So, I got it in my head that I wanted to do something with carrots. Now, in the past, I have made carrot wine, which tasted a lot like a carrot whiskey. So if you're interested in that video, it is an older one, I'll stick the link up there so you can see that if you haven't already. So I thought it would be fun to make a carrot cider. So that's what I'm going to do. Carrot. So I just want to take a second to thank my Patreon supporters. Um, it is great. I mean, it's literally something I've just started and the response has been awesome so far. So basically, Patreon, you can join as little as one pound. Of course, you can pledge as much as you like. And that gives you access to Patreon only and early release videos. So it is new, so it is a growing thing, but I do about four Patreon videos per month on top of this stuff. So if you're interested, I'll stick the link down in the description below. And of course, it's at the end of the video too. So I've said my bit, let's get back to brewing. So my idea for a carrot cider actually came from the supermarket. I saw carrot juice and they add in apple to give it a bit more sweetness to it. It's also on recipes online and I thought that would probably make quite a nice cider. So we're going to give it a go and see what it tastes like. So the idea is I'm going to be making a kind of sweet cider because well carrots need a bit of sweetness once they're fermented otherwise it has a whiskey like taste. So. I've got my carrots which I have washed and I've just put them in fresh water and I'm going to go ahead and grate them. Now you can slice them but you'll need to cook them for longer. The grating it gives it more surface area so it cooks quicker and extracts more of the juicy flavours. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, grate a kilo of carrots. I will um, I'll fast forward so you don't have to watch this. So we have finished grating our carrot and we have these little bits left over. Now you can add these into the boil, it's not going to harm. Or you can let these dry for a few days to form a skin on the bottom where you've cut off the carrot. And um, they'll actually grow carrot greens out the top, for a little bit at least anyway. And you can eat carrot greens. So for those people that uh, really like to reduce their waste, you can actually have carrot greens. Kind of tasty, kind of leafy, a bit like parsley and also carrot all mixed into one with a green salady thing. I add it to fish when I can be bothered to grow them but very tasty thing that we don't normally use in Britain. So um, yeah that's that little tip. Now to the pan. So I forgot to hit record. Lucky I looked. So what I've done is I've got my pan and I've got my grated carrot in here and I've added one litre of boiling water. That's just to speed up the process. It doesn't have to be boiling. You don't have to grate, you can slice it. So I'm just going to turn it on and my theory, in theory, the carrot juice, because there's juice in the carrot, should come out. So I'm hoping that it's going to be about half a litre. If not, I can always top it up with a bit of water. So now it's just a case of letting this carrot cook away to extract the flavour of the carrots. So that should take somewhere around five to ten minutes. So I'll be right back. So it's only taken about seven minutes and this is the colour of the liquid. It is, well, the colour of carrot, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to dump this back in because it's still very hot and uh, will sterilise itself. So while I'm waiting for this to cool down, I can go ahead and sterilise my worktop and all the equipment, including my demijohn, that I'm going to use using bleach and washing up liquid and then rinsing it until it doesn't smell of bleach. So I'll be right back. So everything has now been sterilized and rinsed, which is looking cool. Now my carrot juice, lovely here, uh, I put the pan in the sink with cold water. So it all worked out rather well. By the time everything was sterilized and all ready to go, this was nice and cool. So it's now time to start adding the carrot into the demijohn. So I've got my funnel, so I can take off my airlock and stick it down on the side, knowing that it's sterile. And I got my lovely little sieve. So now I'm just going to go through and add in my juice. So we'll kind of get to see how much juice this produced because I added in a litre and uh, it's taken on a lot of colour. So I've just been putting it in the sieve and giving it a little push and juice does come out. I don't want to go too hard because I don't want to punch a holes in this sieve. There we go. 
and we end up with some lovely carrot that basically you could eat if you wanted to. And there is over a litre, I wouldn't say I got my litre and a half, but at the same time, I can always add a bit of water to it, because well, the carrot is going to be the main flavour in this. So I'm just going to stick my airlock back on while I go and clean this away. So I've cleared everything away so you can see better and as well makes me feel better too. So our carrot juice is looking pretty nice. It is kind of murky and that will settle out once it's fermented but it's got a good colour to it. So now it's time to add our apples. Now I'm using juice as I always do but this time I found apple and pear juice. So it should be kind of lighter and it will help in the sweetness. I do like pears, pear cider splash perry. So uh, I'm going to add this in. I mean, I picked this up from, it even says, little. Oh, and it was about three pounds for three liters, so that's a pound a liter. Not bad. And it comes in a bag. And everyone knows all the cool stuff comes in a bag. So let's take a look at what it actually looks like. Look at that. That actually looks really good. And it has a little pouring spout. Check that. So I'm going to go and add this into here. That looks really good. So you open, it's got a little tab you open. Oh, right now that is at the bag. It's good stuff. Who doesn't like this noise? There we go. And I have a bag that I could put some still cider in. Play with that another time. So we have our carrot, pear, apple, cider. It looks pretty damn good. And it's almost to the right level. I mean, it's only a few mil off. So I can just top that up with a bit of water. So I filled my kettle up with some water and rinsed off my hydrometer. So it's all ready to go. So let's add the remaining water in here to top it up. Yeah, a little bit more, why not? There we go. Oh, that smells good. So let's give this a little shake to mix in the water and all the carroty goodness. Let's see what a hydrometer reads at. And it goes. So our hydrometer has stopped moving and it is reading right at 1.030 so if it ferments to total dryness it will be five percent so some of these sugars have actually come from the carrot who would have thought so it's not all just uh, the juice otherwise that would be really sweet juice but uh, at the same time that's pretty cool that the carrot actually gives out some sugar some carbohydrates too but they vary greatly depending on where you get your sources from i checked it on the packet so this is now done. Now we can add in pectolase to it, but I like my cider kind of cloudy. So hopefully this will actually be a cloudy cider from a concentrate juice. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to be using wine yeast. Now, last time I made cider, I said you can use wine yeast and then I used the cider yeast. So I'm going right ahead and I'm going to use a universal wine yeast. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in on the top. I'm not going to add any nutrient to it because the carrot itself is packed full of nutrients so it shouldn't need anything. Fingers crossed or famous last words. So stick our airlock on the top just to even it out so it doesn't suck it all up and that's as done. We are finished. We have created a carrot cider with apples and pears. I think it will be pretty interesting. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out some of the other ones and of course subscribe if you feel like it and carry on homebrewing guys. See you later.